Harry Potter. And what movie is this? This is supposed to be... The Chamber of Secrets, which is the next movie after The Sorcerer's Stone, or The Philosopher's Stone. I could care less about that damn bastard. I don't like Kim Kardashian. And her boobs look fake. You know what? I don't care about her. No offense. If, if anyone likes Kim Kardashian, then that's great, but I don't. And after that darn dumpster we had last night, man, it really has cleaned out. So the temperature today is supposed to be really, really hot. Um, or just hot. Oh wow, it's 105. However, it feels like 110 degrees. So that's not good because I'm guessing the weather's telling me that Dion, the weather is gonna be pretty humid. But I'm gonna stay home today because I already did all my, um grocery shopping and even buying new socks whenever I want to wear my shorts and my room is a little bit of a mess like always might as well just do like a little tour once again <sighs> but besides that my border was actually so kind to get me my clothes because see my mom actually cleaned them for me and I always wanted to, to do like a little video I did definitely do a separate one of me destroying my my um what is it my Clo my clothing outfit or clothes in my closet. I'm not sure what the hell they call it though. I mostly wear a lot of animes. I don't really wear any like, you know, dress clothes because what the heck is the point, right? I don't need to worry about that. I already did that during graduation. That's more than enough. And yeah. So I, this is not, I think this is most of them. You know, I think this is all of them. I can't tell. And of course, my pajamas, you know, I definitely need to buy an extra pair. Hello, Nick Oyen. However, um, besides that, and I definitely need to put my face mask up, um, because <clears throat> I just woke up not too long ago. I actually was watching one of my favorite, um, creators on YouTube that post public freakouts of Karen's. He actually not only replied to my comment, hold on, but also he actually heard it. You know, that is not important, but when you actually watch someone that you like on YouTube, it is a big deal. So to speak. So that's really sweet. Plus the little heart symbol. Um, let's see. Dion, what are you supposed to get? Before we get started, I need to get my beanie. Oh, first of all, I need to put my Animal Crossing outfit on. Then I'll put my beanie on. <clears throat> I love my Irish beanie. And then I need to get Deku and then my glasses. So I put a long wait on because I just woken up. I don't feel like cropping this up because I like to do everything raw. Okay, fine. Let me do that very quick. Okay, sorry about that. Ugh, so I decided to put, oops, these are, ugh, bloody hell, these are me Irish glasses. That won't be for St. Patrick's Day. You know, we're way past that. Marks, I'm salivating. I apologize, I had to put on my 4th of July glasses because it's still the, well, it's not the 4th of July anymore, but it's still July because I kind of want to wear this as an independent challenge, basically doing One Piece um, reactions while I'm actually wearing these glasses. But we are actually are going to be reacted to 197, or me reacted to 197 on One Piece. And I also just had to eat like a piece of chicken while I'm actually watching the episode, have my water. And I also got my Del Monte ketchup as well. So, I did not. One, two, three. Previously on One Piece, episode 196. Sadie the cook, proving his married at the Merritt Dining Hall. So I'm guessing this girl knows Sanji. Because Sanji used to work for the Marines. I don't know. But if Navarone is supposed to be this great impregnable fortress, how else could one little pirate ship have gotten in here if it didn't fall from the sky? I heard that there wasn't a single crew member on board. So the dot is the gold ship, but they're just avoiding them. Gold. Yep. They found gold, all right. Ancient gold dug up from some old ruin somewhere. I don't know about you guys, but that's the creepiest story I've ever heard. So, so it's a ghost ship? Those poor saps must have been cursed for stealing all that gold. Cursed? Huh. Well, oh, figure. I don't care. Yeah, 
care what kind of ship it is. Nobody picks a fight with our fortress. Hurry it up! Um, sorry, I just had to run to that. <laughs> he has trouble putting his pants on. I always find it hot when you see a, a, a boy's boxers. I don't know why. Luffy. Ugh. That got the going merry, huh? We'll moor the pirate ship to Dock 88 and run a full forensic sweep. We have a situation. Sir, some marine vessels outside the Seagate are demanding entry. Demanding? Since we're in a state of emergency, I advise them to stand by, but... Sir, we barely made it out of that storm in one piece. Please allow us to dock. <laughs> Pun intended. I don't care how badly their ships are damaged. There's a possibility that pirates have infiltrated this fortress. So they'll have to find help elsewhere. If we let them in now, it'll cause confusion. Oh, really <gasps> Permit their entry and immediately assign a medical team to them as well. Yes, sir. Commander, what a terrible thing it is to be helpless in the middle of the Grand Line. Even someone like you can understand that feeling. Can't you, Lieutenant Commander? Of course I understand! To tell you the truth, it's been quite some time since I've gotten this riled up about anything. They can't get out of the fortress, so the problem becomes finding. But why did they even come to Navarone in the first place? Monkey D. D Luffy. We got ship coming in! Proceed with caution here, now at Red Alert! Ready the morning inspection bridge! Wait, is that Zoro? Ha! Uh, did you notice he was just walking past by? Wait, where the hell am I? I'm lost. Who decided that this fortress should also be a maze? It's so big, I can't map it out. I have to get out of here. And soon. The more time that passes, the more lost I get. Now, where have all the others gone? No way! What in the world is that thing? Jeez, it's enormous! Hey, where's the Mary? Oh, uh, the bridge? The going Mary's it's gone. gone. Mm -hmm. What did they do with our ship? And where's our gold? Stone everything. Our precious gold is gone! Gold, 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 gold! And after we went through so much to get it! Battleships? Hmm. So, by the looks at the gate. There are new ships coming in. It means that this place isn't a gigantic lake after all. It mm -hmm. is connected to the open sea. Basically, got right. port. Now we just gotta find the guys and take back the going Mary. If I could somehow go undercover as one of them, I could find the guys and gather more information. How's she gonna do that? And this is supposed to be the G8 arc? Busted! This fortress has a terrible layout. It's like a maze. Excuse me, do you know where the kitchen is? What? Oh, the kitchen, of course. I know right where it is. We just arrived on the battleships down there. And of course, the first thing we do is get lost. I'm sorry to hear that. I got lost a lot when I first came here, but that must have been at least five years ago. Five years, you say? Please, take us to the kitchen. We beg you, it would be such an embarrassment if we had to ask any of the cooks here for help. Maybe I can just say no. We just came from Malishua. It wouldn't hurt you to do us one little favor. Well, it wouldn't help me either. Please say you'll help us. Oh, sure, no problem. Well, she's stuck in a sickest situation. Do you know anything about our little fortress? My brother and I know much of the culinary arts, but nothing about this fortification. As a matter of fact, they are marine chefs of some renown. Wow, huh. celebrity chefs? <laughs> My brother and I have been assigned to take over as head chefs of this kitchen. 
I'm not really sure we satisfied the palates of General Swinston. Like nothing but the finest. We brothers are far from the kind of cooks who excrete insignificant meals on a boat in the middle of nowhere. And we must prove to them that we are in This is like Sanji. Missy, yeah, he's French. Wait, is this the first huh? Where's she going? Huh? Huh? This'll do just fine. <laughs> that so-called ghost ship actually belongs to Straw Hat Luffy and his crew. We have been given a secret mission to track down and apprehend the infiltrators. Among them is one who is considered to be extremely dangerous. You mean the Roa Noah Zoro? The great swordsman who used to be feared as a pirate hunter? Doesn't he use the three sword style? Well, Zoro. Of his friends regret ever coming here. Gonna make me regret what? Uh, I'm definitely going in circles. <laughs> oh! I am so gonna kick you! <laughs> Swords? Come on, Zoro, you gotta hide now! Hey, wait! My sword! No! About time to eat, huh? Yeah, I'm starving. Alright, they're gone. Uh, I'm tired of all this sneaking around. Tell me again why we can't just fight them. You idiot! We don't know where the others are. If we did something Then they would like... show up, right? Hey now, there's an idea. No, 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 the <laughs> Mary's missing too. Calm down, would you? No need to shout. Whoa, would you check out that view? We landed in the dark, so I didn't get to see much. Nice. It's gorgeous. Hey, I bet if we wait here, the others will show up eventually. Stop being so stupid and listen to me. What you're gonna do is stay put. Because if you go anywhere or do anything, you're just gonna get He just drove! Stop that! What do you think you're doing? Really, Nami? Are you kidding? I'll put this in simple terms for you, okay? You have no sense of direction, so I'm gonna find the others. After that, I'll come back. Hey, you. Busted! Off, little Missy. Now get back to cleaning. Little Missy, on duty. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah. Great. Like the skies. Guys, oh, they look cute. They'll never find us now because we're gonna blend in like chameleons of the kitchen. Something smells good. <laughs> <laughs> that that face he makes. This is it. Could be interesting. The kitchen. Hey, I heard that a couple of battleships docked today. What? That means those Papa's brothers will have arrived then. Yep. As a matter of fact, they should be here any minute. First impressions are important. Show no mercy. Yeah. yeah. Luffy! Luffy! Man, haven't you ever heard the term self-control? Self-cool, I've never heard of it. Have you ever heard of the term all you can eat meat and unlimited rebound? Hey, Luffy! Eat me! Uh. So you're the new chefs. Well, are you the Murray brothers or what? Pretty much. Man. Seriously, Luffy! He does look pretty cute with that white hat he's wearing. And Sanji's theme. Hi. So you are those arrogant fancy pants cooks from Marie Joie. Huh? You're the guys who said that you were doing us a favor by coming out to this crap fortress in the boonies. And you said that we were excreting insignificant meals. You sure got a lot of nerve. This entire kitchen has mistaken us for some other guys. I don't know what you're complaining about, and I don't care. Feed me! Give me food! Really, Luffy? You're here. You're the world famous kitchen snobs who make Millie Berry meals every night for all the big shots over in Marie Joie. <laughs> oh, 
Cook. In other words, you would presume to tell me what real cooking is, right? No, I'm not trying to say anything quite as dramatic as that. I just want you and your brother to show us that pride you talk so much of. I'll give anyone a chance to prove themselves, no matter how pretentious they might be. However, there will be trouble if I think you lack anything at all in skill or attitude. Let me make this clear. Unless you satisfy me, you will never be able to call yourselves cooks in Navarone. I see. That sounds like a challenge, Mademoiselle. Hmm. What is it? What's going on? Well, it looks like the cooks are going to have a cooking fight. I cook can't off. see this. Is that the chef that came from headquarters? You are allowed to use any ingredients you like. The rules are simple. Each will prepare meals for 100 people, and the Marines themselves will decide the contest winner. Whoa, I have no idea what's going on, but it sounds exciting! <laughs> Start whenever you're ready. Because he wants to eat! We can't lose this one, boys. Cook as if your life depended on it. We cook using only the best parts of the ingredients we got. Where's Waterhouse like being a chef? But it hasn't come out yet. <laughs> Impressive. I see why I saw you a cook. This is a battlefield, right? It's important that the food tastes good. But more important than that is making sure your food stores last. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you spend a thousand berries or a million. You should never waste even a single scrap of food. Thank you, Sanji. These cooks to utilize every bit of our ingredients with love and skill. Just like loving everything about a lady. Mm hmm. All the forties were eating. How stupid of us! We tried to impress the famous cook, and he turned around and beat us in working class cuisine. We did exactly what we should have, and tried to show off. The food in that road is different from the food prepared for the officers. It's food for Marines who live day to day. That was Jessica's belief, anyway. To think that we, the cooks at Navarone, were picky about the ingredients. Yeah, love is facing his mouth off. He won plates? 100? 
going to get a heart attack, is he? Are you okay? Oh, he's fine. Just hang in there. So It's amazing how the God, Luffy's adorable. It's amazing how that woman is actually so concerned if like if Luffy was eating too much, and yet again she actually has that serious face. So basically, the Marines and her don't care that Luffy actually ate all 100 plates. That's hilarious. This is a great art so far, honestly, in this 1224. So, um, I should have enough battery to record the rest of the episode. But either way. What is her name, though? Did you think of something else for me to eat? Oh, Luffy! Were you planning on leaving me humiliated like this? I won't stand for it. I like your spirit and your appetite. As of right now, you two are part of the team. Yeah! <laughs> Sweet Jessica! Oh. Sam! So, her name is Jessica? That's true. I mean, Sanji. He's like Brock from Pokemon. If there's one thing fishing teaches, it's patience. Patience, right, sir? A valuable attribute. They may be ignorant pirates, but don't you think they would be hiding somewhere a little less conspicuous? This place is in plain sight of everything. There are some who would choose to hide when there is no possibility of escape. But among pirates of that caliber, it is certain there will be one or two who find the act of hiding cowardly. You think so? Zora got spotted. Well, it looks like we have our first catch of the day. Yeah. Stupid navigator doesn't she understand that a swordsman needs a sword? And now so me close. just how to do that. No. Poor Zoro. Ooh! No! His poor swords! Oh! What oh, does it gotta hurt? Poor Zoro! They said Nami! He fought off the dark cliff! All the way to the bottom of the ocean. Just great. Thanks a lot, Nami. Thanks a fucking lot. Oh, he just cut right through it. Oh, speaking of being killed. Oh, jeez. Welcome to Navarone. A fine catch indeed. What's going on here? It's me. Huh! So that basically they were in the kitchen this whole time. Oh, cause they're supposed to be the, the main cooks, right. And this is supposed to be the new um credits. Face. I like how Nami had the Billy on her face and Sanji with his ugh, heart cursing for girls. <laughs> what are these faces that they make? Cat <laughs> Robin just reading her books. She has to be the most normal one out of the, the, the whole crew. That's cute. So for for episode one ninety eight. Now she's a nurse. So you tell me 
from not me from being a darn cook to basically being the narcissist that a chopper. They basically gonna help this woman. I'm guessing. Well, I don't think she's sick. Wherever the heck they are, uh, basically like their little like hospital room inside this big, huge marine cruise ship. Basically, Zoro got himself locked up because he got caught by the boss of the Marines, and basically they had to find him. It's harder because I just started this arc. Um, they just basically had to find a way for Zoro to actually get out of there. So this was a pretty good episode. It was a little bit slow at first, but I have to say it was kind of funny that we actually get to meet, like, um, basically another chef whom is actually a woman, of course, that wants to go on a cook-off with, with um, Sanji. And basically, they don't know each other. I thought they did, but I was totally wrong. So, sorry about that. So, But I hope you actually enjoyed watching this episode with me. And I'll see you for episode 198. And I just eat my, my, my chicken tender. That was so good. It was just one piece, by the way. So, looking for me, since I'm really short and, and skinny. Um, or short. Well, okay. There's a... Well, yeah, I'm basically skinny, yes. Um, I don't have to eat as much. Ugh, compared to my brother, he has to eat, like, basically, what? Well, I think you can say three times as much compared to what I do. But I'll see you for episode one again.